How are you? Well, I want to. Well, I'm in a in a coffee shop taking a coffee, but I want to share with you this uh, this case. Uh, in order, this is the post that I they put today in Facebook, so you can see the way I solve this case. This case is a, a severe class two patient, and this reproduction uh, of the maxillary, where you can see the the, the severe crowding and also the the reproduction of the of the upper teeth. And as you can see here, uh, the, 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 the patient presented uh, severe class 2 in both sides, also a deep bite, the milan was deviated, and something that you have to see is the compression of the, of the, of the upper and, and, the lower, and the lower arch. Look at the asymmetric of the arch, where I have a triangular shape of the upper arch, and also because I have a, a collapse of the lateral segment of the upper arch, the lower primordial are also collapsed to inside, and that's why we have this crowding also there. Okay, I solved this case using my protocol of upper molar distalization assisted by mini screws. Where here you can see that the first thing that I did in this case was to distalize seven and six, and in a liner 21, when six and seven were in class one, then I put a, a mini screw and for maximum anchorage, and then I withdrew from five to five. The patient uh, was using all day. Uh, class 2 elastics also okay you can see here in the back the two mini screws as you can see in that picture and the metallic ligature to the button that I bond in the first molar for maximum anchorage okay the attachments you can see attach the horizontal gingival beveling 7 and 6 in the upper arch for anchorage because when you distalize you need a good fitting of the liner with the tooth also in the in the tooth where I put um, uh, a cat I put the attachment for for max for, for to, to have a good retention okay remember when you when you put an elastic you have to put a cut with an uh, with an attachment just to for to prevent the disinsertion of the liner okay i did ipr from mesial 3 from mr 3 okay in order to avoid the progenition of the of the incisor because i'm going to use okay and at the end it was 54 aligners and you can see here before removing the attachments in class one both sides i saw the deep bite the beautiful finishing of the case the final shape of the arches and then here when i remove the attachments with the with the perfect occlusion the line center class one in both sides the arches with a good uh, uh, arch and something beautiful you can see the way i did the expansion well, remember that something that I always say that you have to expand the buccal segment, the lateral segments. At the same time, we are doing some compression of the seven. You can see here the evolution. Okay, the crowding, the severe class two of both sides. The also the upper middle was counted in the in the picture in the middle are with the attachments and at the end of the case. And you can see here how I I design a full mouth smile, giving uh, more 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 a wider arch okay also i could reduce the protrusion of the of the maxillary okay and the evolution was from here look at the this civil case it was a really really civil case to this final position once again from here to here before removing look how i saw also the canting of the of the of the occlusal pain in the upper arch the evolution of the shape of the arches and that's it okay